crisscrossing the Poconos to find out how tourism gives back to the community, plus a decade of helping nonprofits and just how this foundation is set up for the future, plus exploring a 550-acre pristine sanctuary all free to the public, and recognition for both leadership and tourism and heritage right here in the Poconos. Plus, the new and hassle-free way to explore our area. Then, keeping the region clean and green. Hello everyone, welcome to the October edition of Pocono Mountains Magazine. I'm Brianna Strunk. Big news for the Poconos, our region has just been named the country's third best fall foliage destination. That's through USA Today's 10 Best Reader's Choice Awards. Thank you everyone who voted for the Poconos. And of course, there's still time to come on out and view our fall foliage. There's plenty of ways to do so. Yeah, Brianna, and there's even another reason to celebrate. Wampawpack Brewing Company right here in Holly is award winners for three beers on a national level. And this Wampawpack Cream Ale won best in the world in London recently. So cheers to that and to everybody who can come on out on the Pocono Beverage Trail this month and throughout the season to sample the goods. That's right, and there's still a lot coming up in this show, including a segment about how tourism gives back. We'll have a story from this fine establishment and so many others coming up this next hour. But first, we want to show you what's been happening in the news all across the Poconos. The Pocono Television Network and local news outlets were there for Cowboy Luau, the two-day country music festival at Poconos Park. Featuring big names such as Brantley Gilbert and Brett Young, this was the first concert held at the Bushkill venue under its new name and ownership. Poconos Park welcomed in nearly 10,000 fans as music filled the open-air amphitheater for the first time in a decade. Stay tuned because there's much more to come, including a motorcycle show and concert in May 2023. So far, fans and performers are impressed. It's gorgeous. Like, I didn't know what to expect because it's my first time here. And my boys and I were rolling through, you know, this morning coming out here. And we're just like, whoa, look at this. is Oh, look over here. This is gorgeous. It's very cool. As Brianna mentioned, the Pocono Mountains was picked by USA Today 10 Best Readers as third best destination for fall foliage this year. TripAdvisor included the Poconos in a short list of where to see fall foliage across the U.S., including Route 507 along Lake Wall and Popac and Hickory Run State Park for its trails and waterfalls in the fall. Don't forget to get the fall foliage forecast, updated every week at PoconoMountains.com. Six years after opening its doors, St. Luke's Monroe campus is already expanding. Hospital officials and local dignitaries marked the occasion with this groundbreaking ceremony. The new four-story patient care tower, expected to open in early 2024, will nearly double the size of the facility with 36 more hospital beds, expanded surgical services, additional outpatient programs, and a state-of-the-art radiology suite. Very excited to have them. Again, they're very active, so um, I think they're going to be kind of a crowd favorite. I think people are going to love watching them. WNEP-TV showed off the newest additions at Claws and Paws Wild Animal Park near Lake Ariel. Xerxes and Ramses are Caracal brothers. They're only five months old and will grow to be about 30 to 40 pounds, bigger than a bobcat and with even pointier ears. Hey everyone, it's Jim Hamill and it is plain to see that the Pocono Mountains is a wonderful place to visit, including right here at Lake Wall and Paw Pack. And we're at the Visitor Center here. So many people come in through our region each and every year and it benefits the local economy and the businesses and organizations here. So we wanted to take you on a little journey to find out how tourism gives back throughout both Pike and Wayne counties. Come on along. Our first stop on this journey was Wall & Pawpack Brewing Company, just down Route 6, celebrating five years in business and giving back the best way Becky and her crew know how. So we found a variety of ways to give back. One is through beer, which is a lot of fun because we get to make a beer sometimes for a cause and feature that on the draft and then give a portion of the proceeds back to the cause that we're trying to support. With such a large facility, the brewery can give back in other ways too, including its space for fundraisers. 
We were really happy to invite the Rotary in to do a successful event for supporting Ukraine. They did karaoke, so a lot of times when um, the fundraisers come to us, they're different things than we've normally done. These past years have shown even greater needs throughout the community, including the need for a place to stay. Our journey then took us to Waymark and the Lodge at Keene Lake, where giving back means providing a sense of home. I have so many people like during COVID that sent their families here to stay because they needed a safety zone for them to come. And they landed here and then would go visit with their parents. Joyce DeBastiani opens her doors to the community in times of need. Also that those in need have an affordable place to stay. But I also have families that come here because they may have a big flooding issue at their home or a fire or during COVID at EMT that needed a safe place to land so that they didn't bring COVID to their house, um, to their home and kept their family safe. Um, so di many different things kind of come their way and people like staying here because it gives them a home. Wayne County, like the rest of the Pocono Mountains, has an immense network of nonprofit organizations that answer the call for help daily. Back in Honesdale, Black and Brass Coffee Roasting Company is committed to helping many causes. We contribute to many charities in the form of checks and cash, in the form of um, gift baskets and, and donations. But what we're most proud of is the custom blends that we create for the nonprofits. Uh, the newest one that's coming out is for the library. The coffee company worked with the library to create Possibility Perk, and a percentage of the sales goes directly to the nonprofit organization. And it's just the latest in a long line of charities with their own blends. You can find us supporting multiple organizations that we value and respect, VIP, um, Heroin Task Force, um, Animal Shelters, Destin Animal Shelter, of course, the Wayne County Library, uh, Nipanami, uh, Mental Health Awareness, so many good nonprofits in this area. Um, we we want to continue contributing to them, and what we do is just a small part, uh, a drop in the bucket for what they do for our community. The list of community support from another Honestale business, Camp Umpies, is long. Cheryl Batcher is happy to help with both donations and in-kind donations for all sorts of causes. It's a pretty extensive list. You know, I mean, like, because of course, like in the community, you're always doing, the school always asks for stuff, the kids the kids that work here, if they're in anything, tennis, soccer, the um, in the plays, we've done money and in-kind donations. We do a lot of in-kind donations because I feel like those are the best. And Camp Umpies dedicates a portion of its sales every year to the Trevor Project focusing on LGBTQIA plus causes, including counseling and outreach. They do phone counseling, they do in-person counseling, they do a lot of outreach, they do a lot of laws, you know, just to kind of protect that community. So every year we do a fundraiser for them through the summer. Um, this year, I think it was like 1600 bucks. we ended up sending you the Trevor Project. Whether it's supporting the broader community financially or through raising awareness, these tourism-driven companies are making a major difference throughout the Poconos and the world. More on how tourism keeps giving back in Pike County a little later. But first, here's Brianna Strunk with the story from Monroe County. house in Jonas, a former hotel turned temporary housing facility for homeless veterans. We don't generally have a problem uh, keeping the place full. In addition to running Paul's house, Valor Clinic Foundation provides a variety of resources and services to help struggling veterans get back on their feet. The nonprofit relies on grassroots fundraising, which took a hit with COVID-19 and now inflation. It has been a tough time uh, to be Valor Clinic Foundation uh, financially here recently, and uh, I can't tell you how grateful we are for uh, what they do for us up there at that dealership. That dealership is Pocono Mountain Harley-Davidson in Tannersville, a destination among motorcyclists from near and far. Through a unique partnership with Pocono Raceway, hundreds of bikers come together every year for a charity ride to support Valor. As part of the fundraiser, motorcyclists can take a spin around the iconic track, all for a good cause. And it is a local organization, which we 
truly believe in and love their mission. Speaking of Pocono Raceway, the third generation family owned and operated Super Speedway is known for its community minded efforts, even during the big NASCAR race weekend. Key focus of ours is uh, families and kids. So for 14 years, we have had our annual Kids Day, which not only is fun for the kids with bookmobiles, bounce houses, face painting, crafts and games, but also gives a platform for any local and regional 501c3 nonprofit event to come and show off, really talk to our fan base and our community and our fans about what they do for the region, what they do for young people, what they do for giving back as a whole. Kids 12 and under enjoy free admission to NASCAR events, camping, and the fanfare area. Plus, this inclusive playground in the infield, built for children of all ages and abilities, is open to the public seasonally during regular business hours. For us, being able to use our facility and really our presence, you know, I guess our popularity, if you will, in the world of sport to better this community is something that's extremely important to us. Dude, no problem. I got an idea, Pocono Cheesecake Factory. From kids to kids at heart, the outgoing duo behind the Frogtown Chop House, a casual fine dining restaurant in Swiftwater, found their niche way to give back. Chopped live. For the past four years, Eric and Lyman have gone live on social media every week to help promote small businesses across the Poconos. Neighboring restaurants are treated as friends, not competitors. So we've done everything, axe throwing, uh, pizza tossing. Uh, we've done about 40 restaurants locally. We've done about 20 other local businesses and we highlight them and kind of showcase a real fun side of the business and a fun side of their character as owners and operators. Thanks to the Frogtown Chop House's popularity, Eric and Lyman are able to make regular donations to local food banks, Little League, and other nonprofits. It's our outreach and our giving that has brought back tenfold. You know, the saying is true, you know, whatever you give, you're going to give back more. That is so true. And we give and we give very joyfully. From motorcycle rides and playground slides to these guys going live, there's a bite-sized look at how tourism gives back in Monroe County. For the Pocono Television Network, I'm Brianna Strong. There's still more to come on Pocono Mountains Magazine, including how a winery in Pike County decided to pour it forward and help a food pantry right here in the Poconos. Plus, find out how chairlifts and boat parades benefit the local community as we continue to share how tourism gives back in the Poconos. Jim Hemmel and Brianna Strunk will be right back with more Pocono Mountains Magazine. A special thanks to our sponsors, St. Luke's Monroe Campus, East Strasburg University, and Lehigh Valley Hospital, Pocono. For a warm welcome and refreshing wine, Three Hammers Winery really delivers. The Hops and Second District Brew Farm are grown right here. At Insurrection Distillery, you'll get a big city feel in our small town setting. Your trail awaits you. Make it whatever you want. Wineries, breweries, or distilleries. I've always wanted to craft a trail. <laughs> of course you do. Visit PoconoBeverageTrail.com. The best stories come from people you know. Hi, Jen and Brianna. Hello there. And at the Pocono Television Network, we know the Pocono Mountains. I saw you at the festival. Great job. Thanks. And PTN spends each and every day updating you on everything happening across the region. Hey, I shared your post. Thanks very much. So watch us on cable, streaming, and online. We love watching PTN. Us, us too. too. Go to PoconoTelevision.com. PTN is everywhere you are. When you support businesses in the Poconos, from the small mom and pops up to the large resorts, that in turn benefits all who live, work, and play in our region. Tourism generates $3.3 billion annually, and a good amount of that is reinvested back into the local community. So let's check out just a few of the many ways that tourism gives back here in Carbon County.
Yeah. Blue Mountain Resort's farm-to-table dream has grown into reality. Established in spring of 2021, the farm at Blue Mountain produces a variety of vegetables, fruits, and herbs to supply the resort's slopeside pub and grill, plus wedding and banquet events. We have tomatoes in here and cucumbers. We have a mix of sweet peppers in here, squash and pumpkins, uh, eggplant, kale, Swiss chard. In addition to the seven and a half acre field, two growing houses allow for year round food production and season extension of summer crops. Right. Thank you. Every two weeks, Blue Mountain donates and delivers excess produce to local food banks, including the West End Food Pantry. It's really important to give back to our community because we depend on each other to, to be successful and to support one another. And the contributions couldn't come at a better time. We are at an all-time high right now. If we thought that COVID was uh, tough times, but post-COVID with inflation, with gas prices, we are seeing some of our biggest numbers ever right now. On a monthly basis, more than 700 families have access to the resort's fresh picked produce. We do get a lot of tomatoes and cucumbers, that what I'll call the easy staples, but they're bringing in things that I think our clients probably have never tried or tasted. Another ski resort in Carbon County, Jack Frost Big Boulder, is in the process of installing five new ski lifts. JFBB is auctioning off the original chairs with funds benefiting Lake Harmony Fire Company and Rescue Squad. They serve us and keep us safe every day, 24 seven. Um, so yeah, we're excited for the opportunity to get back. Part one of the auction raised more than $60,000 with a second auction in the works. Maybe there was a proposal on a lift or maybe a significant life event happened on one of these chairs and and this is their opportunity to, to grab a piece of that. This will help the fire department pay bills and purchase new equipment, which is becoming more and more expensive. It's going to help us immensely. Uh, you know, some people don't realize what it takes to run a volunteer fire company. They hear the word volunteer and they think, gee, everything's free. Those same first responders also receive a financial boost from Nick's Lake House through the restaurant's annual Parade of Boats event. Everyone decorates their boats and there's prizes and donations and a, a great band playing. The fundraiser started about 30 years ago and has become a summer tradition for many. From being fortunate in business and being supported by the locals and by tourists, we, we feel we should give back to our community and those people that volunteer for us especially. From crops and chairs to community events, there are boatloads of ways tourism gives back in Carbon County. For the Pocono Television Network, I'm Brianna Strunk. Now let's head to Pike County with Jim Hamill. Lake Wallenpawpack has been a destination in its own right for nearly a century. There are generations of families who have given back to this area including at Gresham's Landing. Steve Gelderman and his family know the value of giving back. If we're not being a part of our community, then every, everything else fails. You know, the community, to support everything, you have to give back, you have to help, you have to do your part, and, um, and that shows. So when the grassroots litter cleanup crew Keep Holly Honesdale Beautiful asked for help, Steve and his family did what came naturally. When he was early on in the stages, you know, um, they were having issues, you know, they're standing right alongside Route 6 picking up trash and cars are flying by. So he had seen we had some uh, like slow down signs and he reached out to me and to, so we were like, no problem, we'll get them. We got a vendor, we ordered him some signs and it's just kind of spiraled from that point. You know, whatever he needs, we're, we're there for him. Well, knowing that we have the community support um, keeps us going, uh, that we have the, the money behind us to um, buy supplies, safety equipment, uh, get people shirts, that our tie-dye shirts, you know, uh, that is, it makes us feel like a team. It makes us feel cohesive. It brings us together. So uh, having the support of East Shore Lodging and Woodlock and Homesdale Loft, uh, this is huge.
Speaking of Woodlock Resort, the family-run business has always done a lot for this community. Whether it's helping hundreds of employees during the height of the pandemic with food and other items, or through charities, including BK Hope Cures, near and dear to Bob Kiesendahl. Uh, I happen to be a cancer survivor myself. I'm 23 years out, very fortunate, very lucky. Um, as I was going through my battle, uh, I just then realized I was gonna get out of this. I started focusing on what am I gonna do after I beat cancer? And one of the, I realized I had a, a, a fortune to be in the family I'm in and all the resources to work with. And it created three different events that happen annually, a 5K, a golf tournament, a tricky tray event, and formed Hope Cures, it's the name of the foundation. And to date, we've given back over a million and a half dollars to cancer research and patient care. Woodlock also supports Folds of Honor, a national organization helping those who've lost military loved ones in the line of duty. And the dollars that are raised from that tournament are given back to families. And they always choose a family during that event of someone in the local area, which is really powerful. This is also known as a green lodging partner. Woodlock and Settlers Properties give guests the option of contributing dollars at the end of their stays to the Delaware Highlands Conservancy, which in turn helps protect land in the Poconos for the future. Over $300,000 that Woodlock alone has contributed back, well really our, our guests have contributed back because it's such a special place for them that they, they invest as well, they help preserve. That small donation when it goes across tens of thousands of hotel room nights a year ends, ends up being real money and that green lodging program supports the preservation of our lands and the natural resources that we depend on. Justin Genslinger with Settlers Inn, Ledges Hotel, Holly Silk Mill, and Silver Birches, to name a few, is always finding ways to help support the community. So we donate to over 500 different nonprofit events a year through a combination of, you know, funds, but also you know, event spaces, you know, hotel rooms, gift certificates. Last and certainly not least on our journey, finding ways the Pocono tourism industry gives back is Three Hammers Winery. The owners and staff saw a need too and developed Pour It Forward, collected items for the local food pantries and even held a car show to increase awareness for that need. We asked some of our, our guests that, that come to the winery to bring some non-perishable food items. Uh, for some discounts on our wines. And we hosted our first uh, car show, uh, and we tied that all in this summer, and uh, we, we received a lot of great donations, and we wanted to thank all of our customers uh, for providing that for us. This uh, donation is gonna make a significant impact for our, many of our community members. All the donations that come here support us, and it's always very much appreciated that we have others in, within the community, uh, helping to raise food and resources for our pantry system. Community and charity going hand in hand. And there are still more instances where tourism gives back to the Poconos, whether it's in big or small ways, it is still the sum of the parts that matters. Keeping this Poconos region strong and resilient now and in the future. Jim Hamill for the Pocono Television Network. Still to come on Pocono Mountains Magazine, we're going to explain to you what Lackawax Sanctuary is and show you all the special things that exist here for the public to see and do and learn from for future generations. That's still ahead. It's like Uber and Lyft, but so much more affordable. We'll tell you all about this new service available in one part of the Poconos coming up on Pocono Mountains Magazine. All the existing things to do in the Pocono Mountains cannot be shown in 15 seconds. You'll just have to book your stay with us and find out. You know, he's been pacing all day long. And he keeps asking, what are we going to do about inflation? Are you catching him pacing out there? Oh, we got him. We've got to come up with a plan. The Pocono's vacation is such a value. We'll make the guide free. Hasn't it always been free? Not now, he's on a roll. <sighs> Value, easy drive. We could beat the inflation. Yeah, beat vacation inflation. For your free guide, go to PoconoMountains.com. Hi everyone, it's Jim Hamill and we are here at Lackawack Sanctuary. It's near Lake Wallapapak 
and this property dates back to the early 1900s. But what is here now behind these gates is a special place for learning, for scientific research, and for preservation. So we wanna show you what this place is all about as the public is welcome to come hiking and learn a lot about nature. I think Black Wax is unique because it encompasses really the three things of our mission, which is research. So we do scientific research on the environment. So you'll see scientific equipment out on our lake, sometimes in the forest when you're hiking. And then we do education programs. So we have an education center. So we do K-12 programs for students, uh, field trips here, as well as the general public on the weekends and weekdays uh, for things like hikes and you know paddles on our lake. And then um, a third part is preservation. And that's basically preserving the 550 acres as well as the uh, historic buildings that are here on property. Historic buildings including this, the Watrous Lodge, the first of the original Pocono Mountains vacation homes built way back in 1903. It's a setting for weddings, fundraisers, and more. And by more, Lackawack has all this nature to share with the public all year long, including nine miles of trails. We were obviously founded to, to do our mission, but also to be open to the general public so that they could enjoy nature, learn a little something. You know, our trails are kind of interactive. We have QR codes on the trails, and there are things to learn and, and to experience while here. So it's not just that you're going for a normal hike, you know. It's not like you're just going to a state park and just, you know, hiking or going for, you know, a stroll on one of the trails. Like here, we try to engage the public to, to kind of learn a little bit of something about protecting the environment, about nature, about, you know, what they're experiencing while they're walking through Lackawack. And much of that learning happens when students visit this special place for field trips or summer camps. Our preference is for them to come to us because it's a little different, you know, being in the classroom, giving them, you know, something to touch and feel while they're there, but actually to see it, to overturn rocks, to see the salamanders out on the trail, you know, to take the water samples, go under a microscope right here live is, is probably the best interactive. And a lot of kids these days don't really, I mean, not to say that kids don't get outside a lot today, but, you know, with this environment, with technology today, there's a lot of, like, you know, not a lot of hands and hands-on feel work, you know, for kids to, like, experience, like, nature, like that. This is our new education center. It's now titled the William E. Chatlos Environmental Ed Center. Lackawack's uh, president, really Craig Lukacs, is excited uh, to see uh, this grow to accommodate more students and more programs, including lab space and event space, too. That will allow us to go from, like, one uh, group of campers in the summer to doing two groups of campers per week, you know, so doubling our size of camps, you know, being able to take more kids on field trips and stuff like that. The history of this wooded corner of the Pocono Mountains is steeped in history. Preserved records let Lackawack leaders trace ownership of this land back to the time of the Lenape. Lackawack, the word Lackawack comes from the Native American uh, Lenape tribe, a uh, word for at the fork. So it was the shape of the lake was it because it was on the wall of Pompac River at the time. And we know that the Lenape lived here because we do have evidence of canoes that were in Lake Lackawack and one still exists in the shallow part of Lake Lackawack today. And this glacial lake has more than just history within its banks. It serves as a gauge on how the environment around it is changing, providing deep data since the 1990s, registered every day measuring everything from temperature to pH levels and more. The reason why this lake is so important here at Lackawack and the environment that we control is because it is controlled and nothing has been polluting this lake. So it's a test lake, you know, it's a sample lake to compare our lake to other lakes across the world, like Lake Wampompak. Lackawack has set out to shape the next generation of scientists and has even provided insight on a global level of the effects of climate change. One thing we found out as comparing our lake to other lakes across the world that have been sampled that long is that our surface temperature is changing. So there are things going on in the lake and we're not doing anything to the lake. So we know the environment's changing. And long story short, I mean, our lake was used to uh, be part of a report for the UN uh, on climate change and to show how the environment around us is changing. And while change is a constant, one thing that remains the same is the need for donations and volunteers to keep the mission at Lackawack alive. To learn more, head to lackawack.org. That's L-A-C-A-W-A-C dot org. 
Jim Hamill for the Pocono Television Network. Coming up, it's like Uber, but much more affordable. Get to know the brand new transportation service now available in parts of the Poconos. Plus, the saying goes, it takes a village. And in this case, one organization has helped raise millions of dollars for organizations and nonprofits for a full decade now. The keys to the success and how it makes the Poconos a better place to call home. That's still ahead on Pocono Mountains Magazine. St. Luke's has been a cornerstone of the Lehigh Valley for over 150 years. It was originally founded to provide industrial workers with immediate local access to care. In the last century and a half, while healthcare has transformed dramatically, St. Luke's dedicated physicians, employees, and volunteers have proven they can respond to changes with exciting, innovative, and bold healthcare solutions. St. Luke's ability to deliver the highest quality care at the lowest cost is truly transformational and will ensure our future. We all have our favorite places. It could be a gorgeous view. A walk in the sun along one of our shorelines. Visiting one of our parks or even family fun water parks. Or our cool free stuff like Boulder Field. Maybe a boulder and a bite. We call your favorite places our Pocono places. For offers and deals, visit PoconoMountains.com slash offers. The Poconos is 2,400 square miles wide, larger than the state of Delaware. So to get around and explore as many places as possible, you'll need one of these. But there's a new service in one part of the Poconos where you can leave the driving to someone else. Delaney Garcia is one of the drivers taking the reins of a Pony Plus van. The new service resembles Uber and Lyft, but is much more affordable. It's public transit, minus the waiting around at a bus stop. Makes it very, very easy. Operated by Monroe County's Transportation Authority, Pony Plus runs within two distinct zones. The first includes Delaware Water Gap, Stroudsburg, and East Stroudsburg. The second, Pocono Summit and Mount Pocono. These zones cover urbanized areas, including downtown districts, resorts, and other major attractions. And if it's successful here, can we then implement it in other places, such as uh, you know Marshalls Creek or Broadheadsville, areas that might not have as much population, but still need a service like this. Each ride costs just $2, and the service is beneficial for locals and visitors. It's a great way for tourists to explore some Pocono places beyond their hotel or resort without worrying about driving and finding parking. It makes it more immediate to get to those locations without having a whole lot of hassle. And as we learned firsthand, the process is simple. Just download the free Pony Plus app, follow the registration prompts, then book your trip. You can pay using a credit card via the app or in person with cash. In just a few minutes, we traveled from the Penn Stroud Hotel in downtown Stroudsburg to the Village Farmer and Bakery in Delaware Water Gap to pick up some delicious homemade treats. The plan that they have put forth in this uh, program is amazing to me. I just, I think it's brilliant and I think it's going to be a real asset to the entire community, whether it's downtown Strasburg, East Strasburg, or Delaware Water Gap. It's going to be wonderful. After filling up at the Village Farmer and Bakery, walk it off on the nearby Appalachian Trail. Explore small shops, enjoy a jazz performance at the Deerhead Inn, even rent a canoe or kayak and hit the Delaware River. We're a great hub. It's a small town, but we have a lot to offer. After a day in Delaware Water Gap, we're back on the Pony Plus. Each van is ADA accessible and equipped with safety features. 
The service is available Monday through Friday from 6.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m., meaning there's lots of time to explore the Pocono Mountains. It enhances folks' transportation options. Getting started is easy. Just use your smartphone to download the Pony Plus app. Then it's off to the races. And you can find more information on GoMCTA.com. For the Pocono Television Network, I'm Brianna Strunk. A lot can happen in a decade, and a lot of good can be done in 10 years' time. It's more than grants, and it's more than money. It's the foundation that is meant to exist forever for the greater Pike County region. Nonprofits, scholarships, endowments, and so much more. And the Greater Pike Community Foundation is just getting started. The board of directors, staff, and network of donors and grant recipients are working for good forever. Greater Pike provides a permanent and personal way to give back to the community. I'm a founding member of the Community Foundation and very happy to be a founding member because the story of how that got to be is the story of one of my favorite clients, Richard L. Snyder. It was named Greater Pike because we always thought that Pike was ready for a community foundation, having an influx of people that would be from other places like New York, like he was. So he felt Greater Pike would be a good one because we have so many tri-state uh, ties here. A group of people in the community recognized that we really need a foundation for this area to help you know the donors and the nonprofits get together and connect better. Over 10 years we've given over a million dollars and it's time for us to kind of switch from a group of volunteers to a more professional organization. The whole idea of a community foundation is giving people the opportunity to set up an endowment and be able to fund something over a period of time rather than give them the sum of money and not know what happens to it immediately. Peters Valley was established in 1970 um, in partnership with the National Park Service. It's an independent nonprofit. The most recent program we've had with the foundation has been producing artist lectures and we partnered with the Pike County Library. We've um, had over a dozen lectures over the last couple years that are free to the public and that are now reaching not only the Pike County community, but also reaching out to hundreds more people, letting them know that Pike County is active and that the Greater Pike County Community Foundation has a broader reach. So that's been really nice. We didn't think it'd be that popular. We're the Milford Food Pantry, the ecumenical food pantry of Pike County uh, on the paperwork, um, but we're the food pantry in town. We've been here for 31 years now. When the pandemic hit, um, you know, things changed and they changed fast. Our numbers increased, our model shifted, but the one thing that we didn't have to worry about was funding uh, because there was an immediate outpouring from the community and especially from sources like uh, Greater Pike, which stepped up and gave us, I think, their first emergency grant during the pandemic. I mean, I'm talking early spring of 2020. Gate has been around for 27 years, and we started as a therapeutic riding center. We've now moved on to more advanced equine therapies. We added this endowment fund, and we chose to do it with the support of Greater Pike Community Foundation to solve a problem, to provide scholarship monies in a continuing fashion instead of trying to quick fundraise to come up with the funds. Having their own organizational fund means that they can look ahead when they're doing their planning, they know that they're gonna have so many scholarships available for you know new clients that they can support. And so that for them may be the difference between being able to hire a new person, training a new cadre of volunteers, it's there for them. We moved here specifically to be in town, to be part of a community. I think it's about putting our roots in so that our children have something to stand on and something to grow with. Um, and and it's, again, it goes back to the sustainability. I hope it's better for them than it is for me. I hope for nothing but blue skies and sunny days. Things like the foundation are here for when there's not.
and you think about what a foundation is, a foundation of a house or any sort of structure, it usually never goes away. It's been, I guess, nine years. To me, it's been one of the better things I've done in the practice of law, number one, but also in generally being able to enjoy things I do. When we can connect all of those dots and the people, that's when you create that small town community that gives you a sense of home and a sense of place where people know your name and know what you do. So I think anything that we can do to help people understand what's happening and how we can connect them is, is helpful. And I think the foundation's doing a great job for just being around for 10 years. It just keeps growing. Folks give back to continue to push the community forward. It is those nonprofits, the Peters Valleys, the, the food pantry, that there's this relentless drive to make them better, to make them succeed, and, and to make this sustainable. Greater Pike, I see playing that role in the nonprofit community of, of really reaching out. And that's part of why the name Greater Pike is so important. It's not just Pike County, we've reached beyond the borders, but it also makes us all better. Tackling trash is a community effort. Ways that we're picking up the Poconos, coming up on Pocono Mountains Magazine. East Stroudsburg University, dozens of degree opportunities, taught by exceptional faculty, exciting campus life, and the beauty of the Poconos. ESU, where everything you want is closer than you think. The nice thing about the Poconos is the seasons do change and it's different crowds. There's different things to do with every season. For example, we're in the summer season right now, so we're gonna see a lot of people come out do river trips, a lot of hiking. But after this, we have the foliage of the fall. People come out just to see the foliage. Then we move into winter where people get into skiing. People are just really pleasant to be around here. Um, everybody is always happy. Um, there's always something going on, so it's not hard to not meet new people. So when I say small town in the Pocono Mountains, people may be kind of turned off by that because they're not used to what we have to offer. This has big city energy without the noise. And it's amazing. There are great jobs available in the Pocono Mountains. If you love the outdoors in the summer or the winter, the Poconos is the place to start your career. Visit PoconoMountains.com. is not just unsightly, it's bad for the environment. Did you know more than 25,000 bags of trash have been picked up and properly disposed of through the Pick Up the Poconos campaign? Here are three ways the Pocono Mountains Visitors Bureau and its partners work to keep our communities clean and green. Ira Hayes found himself homeless in the middle of winter and lived in his car for months. It was terrible. That was the first time for me, but I didn't like it. At one point, Melissa Ramirez also lived in a car, then a tent, then a shelter. You take it day by day. That's it. That's all you can do. Ira and Melissa got connected to Pocono Community Caring Company, or Pocono 3C. The program employs individuals who are homeless or at risk of becoming homeless to clean litter several times a week from Monroe County roads. It gives participants a chance to get back on their feet since they often face difficulty finding work without having an ID, a dress or a bank account or because of a minor criminal record. At the end of each shift, employees receive a $50 gift card so they can instantly buy the necessities to survive. No waiting for a paycheck. Don't give up. Don't give up. No matter how bad it is, there are people that will help you. Since Pocono 3C's inception in June 2019, nearly 30 participants have secured permanent housing, a vehicle, or full-time employment. Ira has moved out of his car and into his very own apartment while continuing to work for Pocono 3C. It's rewarding to see, you know, people stop sometimes and say thank you. You know, so it's, it's awesome. I like it. The 
Pocono Mountains Visitors Bureau also partners with Adopt a Highway Litter Removal Services of America to regularly clean major gateways to the Pocono Mountains. That includes Interstates 80 and 380 plus Route 33. I think we've all heard the stories of plastic in oceans, but you know, look at plastic in our streams. We have some of the best freshwater fishing in the United States, biking and hiking, whitewater rafting. We want all of our waterways and our forests to be as clean and green as possible. The Pick Up the Poconos campaign also includes volunteer-driven Pick Up the Poconos days. Twice a year, in spring then fall, community members sign up to clean designated roads, rivers, trails, and parks throughout the four-county region. Just cleaning up the neighborhood, lots of litter out here, trying to do something good. It doesn't um, show good for us as a community to, to leave it like that, so I'm glad to do it. Since first starting in 2018, Pick Up the Poconos days have grown to include hundreds of volunteers individuals, families, organizations, schools, businesses, and resorts all participate, including Jack Frostvig Boulder, Camelback Resort, and East Stroudsburg University. We're all a part of the same community. Whether you go to ESU or not, or you live in the area, you know, we're all just trying to make this place a better place. Tackling trash, it's a community effort. For ways on how to pick up the Poconos and leave no trace, head to pickupthepoconos.com. For the Pocono Television Network, I'm Brianna Strunk. Coming up on Pocono Mountains Magazine, find out how two award winners from right here in the Poconos have made their communities better by creating something with others. It just goes to show what can be done if you have the right surgeons and the right doctors. Because I was concerned with the mass that I saw in her abdomen, I knew she just needed to go to surgery as soon as possible. The diagnosis was one cancer appendiceal, and whatever need I would have, I knew she was going to address it. That impressed me. At the Lehigh Valley Topper Cancer Institute, we have a team of experts who are specialty trained in their field. Best word I can find, phenomenal. Sometimes my dad and me go on four-wheeler rides and we see tons of splash. It's a little upsetting that, you know, people are out there throwing, like, things out the car window. We have to be nice to our earth. Like, the earth might break a little bit. I'm thinking, why are we doing this? This is the only planet we have. We can't go to a different planet. Pollution, yeah, that's all us. So if we made a problem with the earth, we got to fix it, right? Hey, it's Jim Hamill here in downtown Honesdale, and Route 6 runs the entire length east to west of Pennsylvania and crosses right through Wayne and Pike counties here. And this year, we have two award winners for the Route 6 awards through the Route 6 Alliance. One for the Lackawaxen River Trails that we've told you about in the past, and the other is for a project spearheaded by a young woman by the name of Lisa Glover. And Lisa, got together with some kids who had been spending a lot of time in this park along Route 6 and created a mural that is absolutely amazing. And for that effort, Lisa was awarded the Heritage Leadership Award for Route 6 in 2022. For years, this old railroad trestle in Honesdale was the target of graffiti artists until a group of artists enlisted students to create a mural here. And within just months, this is the finished product. Lisa Glover was putting a protective coating over the mural, safeguarding the hard work that went into making this work of art. It was amazing for the community just to be able to come together and make this happen and to see that this kind of placemaking initiative that involves everybody is something that people are excited about. It's, it's, you know, it's just the cherry on top. Glover and several other volunteers spent time with the students designing the mural and eventually painting it. For the culture of this space to have changed so dramatically while keeping the same people here, 
tells you the power of bringing a whole community in to make a difference in a space. Suddenly, everyone sees a piece of themselves here, whether they helped paint it directly or whether their friends did, or whether they just you know, know that people came together to make it beautiful. The finished product was unveiled back in June, and in September, Glover was awarded the Heritage Leadership Award at the PA Route 6 Alliance Annual Meeting for her efforts, not just with the mural project, but with the Wing County Arts Alliance and Honesdale Parks. It's incredible to see how everyone's different ideas work together. And, uh, and seeing that something like that, instead of something temporary, can have a, a long-term home, like this, you know, this beautiful mural. So that way people can continue to appreciate it long after a, a festival weekend. Um, really, really gives the community something to smile about and be proud of over many years. Speaking of pride, another Route 6 award was bestowed on the Lackawaxen River Trails group this year for tourism leadership. It will be an economic driver, absolutely. It will bring people to Honesdale, to Holly, to, the, to our parks, to our restaurants, to our stores on our main streets. Molly Rogers is one of those spearheading the effort to develop water and land trails along the Lackawaxen between Honesdale, White Mills, Holly, and beyond. Holly's boat launch is complete. Next, hundreds of thousands of dollars in grants from the state will help build river accesses here in Honesdale, also in White Mills, and one in Indian Orchard. Recognition by the Route 6 Alliance and the recognition that we will also receive from the Pennsylvania Environmental Council are just so meaningful to us, um, especially because we're just getting started. Feasibility studies have been done, the engineering work is also nearly done, and construction will begin soon on those accesses, which will do more than just improve these properties along the river. There hasn't been a public access in Wayne or Pike County to the Lackawaxen River, and now with a system of public access points where you can park your car, you can put in your kayak, you can get out your fishing rod, you don't have to trespass on someone's land in order to get to the river. Congratulations to both award winners, making us all Pocono proud. Jim Hamill for the Pocono Television Network. We are so Pocono proud of the people and the places who are being recognized. Of course, the award-winning fall foliage of our region and the beer as well. Absolutely, Brianna. And talking about Route 6 as well, Wampaw Pack Brewing is located right here in Holly on Route 6. And all throughout October, you're going to be able to sit beside the fire pit and enjoy your Pocono beverages here right from an award-winning brewery. Which I think we should get started. I would, I would too. Crack open one of those, why don't you? All right, well, we'll say goodbye to everyone at home. Thanks for joining us for this October edition of Pocono Mountains Magazine. We'll see you next time. Bye, all.